Hello everyone, I am here today to talk about the Inlet Transfer in an Ecosystem. This chapter is divided into three parts, the food chain, the food web, and the energy pyramid, and I'll be discussing them in this video. Let's start with the food chain. The food chain is a linear network of links from a food web starting from the producer organisms and ending at an apex predator species, the trinity of voice, or the decomposer species. A food chain also shows how each species are related to each other by the food that they eat. Each level of a food chain represents a different trophic level. In the food chain, there are producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and the decomposers. Here is an explanation of the food chain for you to understand better. The food chain is a sequence of feeding relationships describing which organism eats the other. The sun is the source energy for the food chains. Keep in mind that the arrow tip pointing towards the is always pointing towards the eater. The grasshopper eats the grass, the frog eats the grasshopper, the snake eats the frog, and the eagle eats the snake. Next up we have the food bowl. A food web is a natural interconnection of food chains from a graphical representation of what eats what in an ecological community. Another name for the food web is consumer resource system. In simple words, a food web is just multiple food chains linked together. Now you know the difference of the food chain and the food a web. Now let's move to the last part, the energy pyramid. The energy pyramid, also known as trophic or ecological pyramid, is the graphical representation of the energy found within the trophic levels of an ecosystem. The bottom and the largest part of the pyramid are the pod producers that contain the largest amount of energy. The energy pyramid is sometimes referred to as an ecological pyramid or trophic pyramid. It is a graphical representation between the various organisms in an ecosystem. The pyramid is composed of several bars. Each bar is a different traffic level present. The order of these bars is based on who feeds on who. It represents the energy flow in the ecosystem. Energy flows from the bottom of the pyramid where we have the producers upwards. The height of the bars is normally the same. However, each bar has a different width depending on the quantity and the element being measured. The energy pyramid is useful in quantifying energy from one organism to another along the food chain. Energy is higher at the bottom part of the pyramid, but it decreases as you move up through the trophic levels. Namely, as energy flows through the various trophic levels, some energy is normally dissipated as the heat level of each level. About 10% of the total energy is transferred during the energy flow to several trophic levels and hence the steady drop in the amount of energy. That is the energy transfer in an ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thanks for listening. Once again, this is Miko Jermin Aroi of Kalahio de Montessori, year 21 to 22. Goodbye. Damn. Give it to me like... <laughs>
come and visit our place in Kailangis. After biking on dinner time, I help my dad make the table. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.